Hello everyone, it is Yazu again and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Uh, today guys, we have, to be honest, one of the best events in the game. We have times 2 on the voids and 10x uh, chances of getting a specific void champion and that is Leorius the Pride. So as you can see, 1% chance of getting legendary, 16% chance, so double chance for getting epic and we have 83% chance of getting a rare champion with 10% chance from Void to get uh, Leorius. So this is probably the best time for you to open uh, if you want to get him. Uh, uh, but I know it's super hard for a low spenders or free to play players uh, to get any, uh, any uh, like <coughs> Void shards. But we'll go ahead, we'll open everything. This is my friend's account, Tigrich. And we'll go ahead. Uh, Let's see. First, uh, he did mention some champions that he would like to get. Uh, I think uh, the one that he mentioned would love to get most is... Uh, oh my, I have to find her. <laughs> I think it's Undead Hordes. Yeah, it's Sifi. So he would love to get Sifi. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see. I mean, it's five shards, but hey, maybe, maybe luck strikes him. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead. Let's open up. Okay, first one, Epic. Oh, Demita, I would love to get her on my main account. I had her, but she was a part of the fusion and I uh, had, to, had to use her in there. Um, block damage buff on all allies and 50% continuous heal buff on all allies on a 3 turn cooldown. So amazing, amazing champion for <coughs> block damage. Although it is for one turn, but still amazing champion. Of course, increased duration of all ally buffs by one turn. Decrease duration of all ally debuffs by one turn, heals, uh, let's see, ally defense in all battles by 20%, amazing epic, top tier epic to be honest. Let's go ahead, let's open up all of these voids before we jump on my account. Uh, okay, we have veteran, uh, not a good champion, let's see, let's see, hopefully, hopefully something else that's pretty decent, dagger, we don't need dagger. retainer and last but not least hopefully something good and we have okay no nothing good i mean stitched beast uh we only had five voice shards so yeah let's let's go ahead let's jump to my account i'll be right back with it and we are back on my account. Let's see, I have a little bit more voids. I'm just gonna open 20 because we have a fusion in a week and I'm pretty low on sacreds in case the event happens uh, at the start of the uh, fusion. So I have to keep some of them for uh, for that. It, that uh, five, uh, five voids is gonna be like uh, 600 points. So yeah, when it comes to champions that I would love to get, I would love to get, where is he? Cardial, Venus. Both of them amazing champions. Okay, I mean, Baron, Taras, Marichka, any one of these amazing champions as well. Uh, Sifi also, she would be a, a great pairing. And Necrit as well, Sifi would be a great pairing for my Rotos. Necrit amazing to protect your Nuker. And let's go ahead, I'll open like uh, 10 at a time right now. Let's see. Okay, Mikolos. Michaelus, don't know him, not good. Okay, all rares. Yeah, I would love, for, when it comes to epics, I would love to get Madame Ceres. I know, super hard for me. After four years of playing, still don't have her, but yeah. Uh, looking at this, Painkeeper, amazing champion, to be honest, even though it's a rare champion, uh, you can use her in a full auto team for Iron Twins. Seer is one of the best way, not one of the best actually, the best way clear champion in the game if you have enough buffs on yourself. So Seer is a huge because of this ability, removes all buffs from all allies and all enemies, then attacks all enemies, damage increases according to the number of removed buffs. It has a chance to play sleep, but the first part is <laughs> what's most important about her. And Hellhound is honestly a great champion when it comes to campaign farming. And <clears throat> I used him as a campaign farmer, but replaced him with like Queen Eva, I think. Also used him in a lower level uh, Fire Knight battles because of his ability to reflect damage. Uh, so when he attacks you, if you have reflect damage on yourself, if, if the uh, Fire Knight 
I don't know, Fyro, I think his name, his name is Fyro. When he attacks you, he's gonna lose five. If you do have five champions, he's gonna lose five stacks on his shield. Let's summon 10 more and that would be it. Hopefully we get something decent. Paragon, another solid champion, has some uses. Doom Screech, solid champion as well. Uh, Kinturion, Prondar, don't like them. Another Doom Screech. Okay, at least one new champion for my account, and that is Ursula the Mourner. <clears throat> so I didn't have her before. Great reviver, one of the best in the game. Revives all that allies with 75% HP, and then fills their turn meters by 50%. Also places increased defense and strengthen, strengthen on all allies for 3 turns. Uh, this is AoE decreased attack and places increased attack on all allies as well. Uh, decreased turn meter 40% when booked to 55% chance of uh, placing decreased turn meter by 10%. Ally speed in all Doom Tower battles by 24. You know what, I mean hopefully I'll have enough shards and I'll probably get some more uh, along the way so let's go ahead let's open five more retainer not a good champion uh, confessor decrease accuracy I mean that that's solid but I mean sh maybe has some uses should have some uses but I don't know cage bound not a good champion either Another rare harvester, and last and hopefully not least, one Madam series. Oh no, Umberland Chantress, amazing champion. So she has like AoE block buffs and uh, defense based champion also, and has AoE provoke, places a kill button on her, but has uh, but places also block active skills on her for five turns as well. Uh, we didn't strike anything that I wanted, I mean at least I got Ursala which is pretty decent, so yeah, hopefully uh, <clears throat> hopefully I'll have more luck next time. This is something that's usual on my account to be honest, I mean I, it is only 25 voice shards, but uh, pretty pretty uh, bad pulls in my opinion. Okay, it wouldn't, no, wouldn't be bad pulls for like uh, if somebody didn't have Seer Umbral, those would be amazing pulls, but someone who's been playing four years not the greatest <laughs> to be honest thank you guys for watching this video make sure to like the video subscribe for more daily great content and i'll see you next time